Thousands of people are reacting to our story from last night, revealing the local chain of Goodwill stores pulled paychecks from most of its dis workers with disabilities. The nonprofit director blamed the job cuts on the pending rollout of the higher minimum wage, but that explanation did not sit well with Illinois lawmakers. WCI 3's Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell live in our Capitol newsroom tonight. Mark, Goodwill says it could no longer afford to pay these workers. But Jessica, that doesn't exactly seem to add up. The 15 retail locations that make up the Land of Lincoln Goodwill Hub, spanning central Illinois, did about $26 million of revenue last year. They do have 450 employees across the state, so a significant amount of overhead. 50 of those employees have disabilities. So, but as a nonprofit, they don't have many of the, uh, dis, uh, the struggles that some other uh, regular businesses do have. They enjoy s several benefits, like not paying taxes, for example, and uh, some state contracts. So why were they the first ones to cry poor with this minimum wage hike around the corner? Some Democrats told me today, wondering privately, would the director really turn her back on the core mission of goodwill, helping people with disabilities, just to prove a political point about the minimum wage? We, we don't know, but Sharon Durbin has shared rather radical views on Facebook, comparing liberals to Nazis and even sharing a meme that suggested lax dress code standards and sex ed in public schools invites school shootings. So she's not entirely one to shy away from political arguments. Okay, and Mark, speaking of politics, we mentioned this not sitting well with Illinois lawmakers. How are they responding tonight? Jessica, Illinois lawmakers are in an uproar. Remember, the minimum wage doesn't even go into effect until New Year's 2020. That's when it goes up to 925. Some of these workers are already making that much. In fact, 11 Goodwill dis uh, disabled workers uh, are already making that much now. And Goodwill also has special approval from the federal government to pay disabled workers a sub-minimum wage, below the minimum wage. Senate Majority Leader Kim Lightford was furious. She said, quote, I don't know what she has, referring to the executive director, against disabled workers, but if she's going to stay in her job and promote this new mission, I would think a name change from Goodwill is in order. The director there makes $170,000. Her son also got a job at Goodwill in Springfield. He makes nearly six figures there, too. Okay, so Mark, you've laid out what's going on. What happens now? And some people wondering, is this a case of discrimination? So I'll answer those in two parts. First of all, the organization itself saying quiet tonight. Uh, Goodwill, the international brand, is speaking out saying that they do plan to have an announcement tomorrow uh, about this. The, the local uh, hub is reevaluating their decision to pull these paychecks. We expect an announcement tomorrow. There could also be an investigation into the possibility of workforce discrimination. Attorney General Kwame Raoul's office telling me tonight he is committed to protecting the rights of all workers and fighting workplace discrimination. And you can call the number on our screen to file a complaint if something has happened to you in that line. Uh, the Senate Human Services Committee in Springfield also plans to investigate how Goodwill was spending state funding and politicians already debating a number of issues that really allowed this to happen. One of those politicians running for president of the United States. Tonight, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders uh, retweeting and promoting WCIA's story. He's calling for an end to the sub minimum wage at the Federal Department of Labor. He wants to do away with that and make sure that all disabled workers have a full living wage. Jessica. All right, Mark, I'm sure you'll keep us updated. Thank you so much for breaking that down.